It's your girl T here back with the Thursday vid, yeah? I know y'all are having a beautiful blessed day because of your tea timers. It's absolutely what we do. Our affirmation for the day is, I don't work for my manifestations, they work for me. We don't work for our manifestations, they work for us. They're our employees. We create our own universe, so they work for us. I wanted to dig into some SP... I don't even know what to call this. Maybe like SP, common questions, common things that are brought up, etc. Because I've done so many SP videos, but it is still the number one topic. And I know why this is. It's because we were all put on this planet to love. And love will take us further or backward more than any other topic in the human condition. I feel like there were, if there was more love in the world, that there would be way less problems. However, that's a side aside. So I'm just going to go through uh, a few of the things that I hear continuously brought up and answer those things. And you guys can feel free to drop questions in the comment section and I will answer them. But I'm just going to go off of things people have asked me on a consistent basis and common things I see when people are manifesting an SP. The first thing that gets brought up all the time is, do I want my SP or do I want someone new? And I did a short on this yesterday. So I will touch this topic here. So do you want your original SP, meaning the SP that you're currently manifesting, or do you want a new person? When I was manifesting my original SP back, I went through a phase of indifference, meaning I didn't care whether he came back or not. I was so focused on myself, I didn't give a crap. I was like, I'm good with him, I'm good without him. And then the time after that when he returned, I... Uh, I'm trying to remember back, it was so long ago, but I believe it took a couple more times before he came in and stayed, but I was indifferent. And it wasn't because I stopped caring about him, it was because I was so hyper-focused on myself and my own life that I knew, I felt healthy and whole and complete with or without him. So I was, I was good to go on whether he came back or not. And I think he came in at warp speed because that's what I tell you guys, when you're in that neutral place where you don't care either way and you feel good with or without your SP, they come in with warp speed because your subconscious is like, oh, because sometimes when we're so pent up on having something, we actually form resistance, pushing it away. And when you release that resistance by being like, eh it allows for your manifestation to come in. But back to the point of the question I was answering is, do you want your new or old one? What happens a lot too when you're manifesting SP, I see in a lot of people, is we get to a point, not the indifference point, that happens in the majority of manifestation journeys. I see people become indifferent, but that usually means your subconscious is imprinting and you do believe that you can have your SP and they're free to come in. Another thing that does typically happen is you'll get to pass the point of indifference and you'll think to yourself, do I actually want this person anymore or was it just something that I was settling for when in a, I was in a lower vibration? You might not use that exact wording, but you might feel like you've grown past your SP because what happens is when we're in a desperate or a low energy, when we first start manifesting our SP, we'll do anything to have them back and we go through all that and then we get to a point where we're happy within our ourselves and we're manifesting our own love for our own selves and we get to such a happy high place sometimes we feel like we don't match the energy of the SP anymore like it's too much work to re-manifest them and we'd rather just have somebody come in like a ready-built house that is ready to move into instead of going into a fixer-upper where we have to put the um we have to put the work in to make the house livable, you know what I'm saying? So sometimes we grow past our SP where they were at when we were at that energy and we want to manifest a new one. The third thing that, that happens a lot too is sometimes people focus so hard on their SP and they don't really focus on themselves and you get so attached to them coming in to make you feel happier about yourself that when you aren't manifesting them because you're in that desperate or lack energy, you end up trying to convince yourself that you want somebody else. Like you're still hooked on your SP, but you start telling yourself you don't want your SP anymore. You want someone else because you feel like 
it's too hard to get them and it would be easier to go for someone else. When you are afraid to stop affirming for your SP and focus solely on yourself and your self-concept, that's when you know that it might be time to step back from your SP journey and focus that heavy attention on yourself. Because if you are pedestalizing your SP so high that you're afraid to stop affirming for them and affirm for yourself majority of the time and do a few affirmations or whatever technique you use for them, like prioritize yourself above them scares you, that's when you know your self-concept needs some work. Another thing I see when people are manifesting an SP is that you will get trapped in the 3D and go by what the 3D circumstances are. So what do I mean by that? You'll start manifesting on your journey for your SP. You will get some movement. Maybe they'll text you or they'll call you. And then you stop affirming for your new self-concept, your concept in love, your SP, or whatever in general that you usually do. And you just rely solely on whatever's happening in the 3D. Like if you're exchanging texts and then you stop affirming and they you're strong on the text chain and then maybe they ask you out on a date and they don't show up or they stop texting you for a while and you you're you start spiraling on your limited um your limited what am I trying to say you start spiraling on the uh, negative thoughts that come in because you're not counteracting anything by working on your self-concept or affirming for your new way with your sp your, your subconscious has a free-for-all to bring in all those negative thoughts and instead of building yourself up it's kind of ripping you down because you're believing those negative thoughts and you're going by the 3d and that's when I get a lot of these questions like they just said this what do I do they just said that what do I do and I tell you affirm go go internal and affirm more for you know SP self-concept love in general and what do the majority of you do you go watch videos on the specific text that you got or the specific thing that you're struggling with and it spirals you out more this this is the work when your manifestation starts coming in and you have to keep staying in the state of believing more of what you're manifesting as opposed to what you're seeing in the 3d this is where i lose most a lot of you is you believe more in the 3d circumstances than you do in what you're actually manifesting or living in the end for so I see that a lot when you start manifesting an SP and you get movement keep affirming keep on your mental diet game this isn't like a mental diet to get your SP to text you and then you quit it it's a mental diet to continuously be up leveling your life so when your SP does show up and does text you or call you or take you on a date keep affirming keep on your mental diet keep working on those areas that you might struggle with because it's easy to get an SP to come in it's a little bit more work to maintain them if your self-concept in love is shaky. Until you start affirming, scripting, whatever technique you use, jumping into the state of being love, prioritized, healthy, whole, and complete with or without your SP, until you feel solid enough in your self-concept, keep using your techniques to get you to that playing field. So when you do bring in your SP, you can maintain them. Another thing I see when people are manifesting SP is that if there is a third party, you put all your energy into trying to cancel out the third party. Like there is no third party. There is no third party. The third party doesn't exist. SP only loves me. This can create a lot of resistance when you're manifesting an SP. Instead of my personal advice when you are manifesting an SP and a third party comes in, oh, look, the 3D is just trying to tell me that that's something I manifested previously. I. I would completely block out the third party and be like, there is no third party. I'm the only person that SP loves and who else would compete with me? And I would keep it moving and just carry on my affirming scripting for me and SP. I would just ignore the third party because think about it. Whenever you hyper focus on something, what happens, especially to the negative because our negative feelings are so strong, you get more of it. So why focus your attention on the third party to bring more of it in? I would just completely block it out and ignore it. Ignore the third party. Like react. I know y'all are going to react. So react for an hour, two hours. Maybe you take a day. But then after that, when your reaction settles and you regulate your nervous system, block that out. That doesn't exist. That third party is vamoosed. 
it's just me and SP here. It's just all about us. And I would affirm the story for what love does, looks like for me. And it doesn't involve third parties. So that's not part of my story. Another thing I see when people manifest SPs, and not just SPs in general, but any manifestation is you'll affirm in the morning or you'll affirm before you go to bed but throughout the day you will react or notice things that are happening in your 3d that are contrary to what you're manifesting so the sp example let's say i'm like i'm loved i'm chosen i'm wanted sp has eyes for me and only me but then throughout the day i'm looking through their facebook i'm stalking their instagram i'm creating stories about what's happening on their instagram oh my god he's with that girl he must love that girl he always chooses that girl why is he with that girl and i'm reacting to it or i am looking through old text messages i'm like i'll never feel that way with him again he'll never text me this way again but but I'm affirming when I wake up in the morning and I'm, when I'm going to bed at night, but all throughout the day, I'm telling my subconscious that they don't choose me and that what's happening in the 3D is real. And I'm creating more of it by seeking evidence that they are with other people or they're not fit, focused their attention on me, etc. When you're manifesting an SP, if, if they are really a touchy subject for you and you feel shaky as hell about them, I would not search their Facebook. I would not search their Instagram. I would not search anything to do with them. I would prioritize my self-concept and sprinkle in some affirmations about love, relationships, and my SP. If you guys are constantly trying to comb through social media looking for more uh, backup and information supporting your negative story, you're going to get more of it. But if you completely take that out of the picture and focus on the work with yourself, you're going to make a solid foundation where your SP can completely come in with no residue and residuals that are going to block out the SP after they come in, like push them away. Because the story goes the same in so many situations. You manifest your SP, you bring them in, they stay for a minute and they go back out and then you re-manifest them again. And some of you will do this process for years and it's no shade to you. I'm just saying, if you don't want to work on your self-concept, it's going to be extremely hard for you to keep your SP long-term because if you have things in your self-concept that tell your SP they are no, not welcome there, like love doesn't stay or love's hard for me or I only last a year in relationships with people and they bounce or everyone I love cheats on me any of those beliefs and I know y'all have some of them any of those kind of beliefs are going to limit the amount of time your SP can stay so don't let your time with SP be limited make sure that your foundation is solid so when you build the house on top of it the house stays built y'all understand what I mean those are just four quick examples of stuff that I see but if you all have different examples that you want to give me and and you want me to address you know what to do leave them in the comment section I love y'all but not as much as you should be loving yourselves have a beautiful blessed Thursday bye